we, we no, just we lost didn't. statue of commandment. No. God lost statue of commandment. That was just interesting. Thank you. Yeah. You are supposed yeah, to live here. Yeah. It's for it's for you. It's oh, for you. Bro. Get on Isaiah 55 and 6. Isaiah 55 and 6. What's up, Tim? Damn y'all every day. Ain't that so? Shalom. 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 Right. We're the uh, Great Millstone Hebrew Israelites out of Valdez, Georgia. Branch coming out here to teach you the word of Yahweh. Uh, Shalom. We come out here week in and week out. Lord willing, we pray that's good or fine. But first and foremost, we want to give all praises and glorifications to Yahweh. Yahweh. Shalom. 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 Hey, time and time again, man, we just say that America's going to be destroyed according to biblical prophecy, man. All right? We got all this, uh, these mandates. You know, Joe uh, Biden is coming up. We got jail. Everybody got to be a jail, man. All right? Just don't stop. And we know that's a preview to what? The MOTB, which is the mark of the beast, which is the chip, the RFID microchip, all right, that Esau, all right, the so-called white man is trying to push, man. Okay? And when you say so-called white man, that's what it is. He's so-called white. He's not white. He's red, man, according to the Bible. All right? Every um, uh, nation has a biblical nationality. Right. Okay? Every nation has a biblical nationality. There's no such thing as a white man. There's no such thing as a black man. Right. Okay? No such thing as Latino. Latino, Mexican. Mexican. All those are by words put by on words. by the so-called white man. That's right. When we uh, came over here on cargo slave ships. To serve slavery, man. Right. Uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, on down to so-called Mexicans. You the real children of uh, of God, the right. children of Israel, man. That's right. All right. Yeah, I got, I got you right here. Because uh -huh. we are right uh, the children of the Lord. Uh -huh. This is Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. Uh -huh. It says, "For thou art a holy people." Thou art a holy people, man. Holy means separate, man. That's right. Okay. Holy Bible, it means separate. So if something's holy, how can it be for everybody, man? Right. Okay, that's the lie perpetrated by this society. Starting with the so-called white man, man. Okay? If anything's holy, it's supposed to be separate, man. It's supposed to belong to a particular group of people. It can't belong to everybody, man. Right. Start from the top of the end, huh? This is Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Son. It says, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord. Thy power. He's talking about uh, the nation of Israel, Pacific. Right. Okay, because he's only dealing specifically with the nation of Israel. Get on Amos. Uh, go ahead and get Amos 3 and uh, start at 1. You got it, huh? Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. But thou art a holy people unto the Lord, thy power. So by the nation of Israel, you so called blacks, Spanish, native, fair, the Greek. It says, For the Lord, thy power, uh -huh. have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Uh -huh. Above, uh -huh. Above uh -huh. all people. Above, no, um, above equal. Above all people. No, being equal. Above all people. Above all people. That are upon the face of the earth. So that's a racist huh. statement. Huh? Huh. But they say God is all love. All right. All right. That says something different, man, about the most high, man. But God is all love. He loves everybody. Why would you say that, man? Why would you make that statement? We didn't write. But people get mad at us. You know, people claim to believe in the Bible here in America. Okay. But when the truth of the scriptures come out, there's a problem, man. That's right. Okay. We didn't write this, man. The Lord wrote it, man. He had Moses. All right, write this, man. He created he, he created us to be above all people, man. That's and it's right. evident, man. You know, look at what we do. Why they exploit us in their sports, man? Right. The so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. Because we're the greatest people, man. Yeah. 
If I can say, y'all just um, saw that little uh, movie clip. Uh, what's his name? Cabinet. Um, uh, what's his name? Um, um, Calvin. Um, the football player. Colin. Colin. Yeah, yeah, Cabinet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He, he, he spoke, spoke the truth. Movie, uh, he spoke the, the truth clip. about. Right. Yeah. He compared yeah. it to the slave, slave. auction. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly what it is, man. Right. They just sugarcoat. Okay, everything's sugarcoated, man. When it comes to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because these people, these are the nations, they don't look at you or nothing as a, a mystical no. show, man. Right. Yeah. It's a modern-day mystical show. We mean sports, entertaining them. That's all they want to do. That's, that's all they want to do. That's all they look at you as. They just want you to entertain them, man. No matter how much right? riches you bring them, no matter right. how much care. achievements you do for them, right. they don't care. Just like that, um, I said that lieutenant, that that lieutenant that got mace, and he he was a lieutenant uh, 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 in the military, man. Right. A, a high-ranking lieutenant, and he got mace by the cops, Live man. on the line for the you. By, by some by yeah. some Edomite cops, yeah. man. At that, they made some, man, because right. they, they look at you like you just a nigga. But look, we, we can look at it like this. How in the hell are you putting the people that own the land in that tournament camp right. on the board? Because this is their land. Right. Yeah, because, hey, that's what you're set up to do. Rape, rob, and that's murder, right. and pillage, man. You know, the thief comes and knock, but the steal is a kill and destroy. That's what Fine. This is verse seven. It says, the Lord did not set his love upon you, right. nor chose you because ye were more in number right. than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. Right, because most I always deal with underdogs. Right. See, it's not about um, quantity, it's about quality. Right. You know, Israel came with the whites to be a great nation. That's why he called us the, uh, the stand of the sea. Right. You know, but here it is, the so-called white man teaches that we the majority. Right. Oh, we the majority, man. They're a dying race, man. Right. Look at the old people. Right. Right. They dying. You know, they can't, they can't procreate like you can. Let's just be real, man. Hey, that's Look at the tribe of Ethan, the so-called Puerto Ricans. Right. They pop out babies like that, man. With, with the with Ethan, man. Right. Ethan, 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 Ethan means to be um, fruitful. That's right. And, they, and, they, they, and, and they're the king of the northern tribe. Right. And, and if I can say, they um um that's why Esau set up all these um, plant parenthoods, you know, put all these GMOs in the foods, right. all these different things that, that try and um, kill you off, man. So we won't um, produce and appropriate like we should, man. That's right. Got, got Jake in the um, hoods, the ghettos, putting the drugs in there so they can kill each other off. Right. But it all go back to the Willie Lynch letter. You know, you do your research on that. You know, so it's everything is all set up and designed here in Babylon to to um to oppress us, right? And right. the fire didn't come. The fire didn't come because the scripture says, "Surely oppression makes a wise man mad." Right. But here it is. is the heart. When we get mad, when the Israelite man gets mad, starting with so-called black man, it's a problem. But we have a reason, every reason to be mad. Right. You no, know? we can't get mad at nothing, man. We just gotta suck it up, man. They just tell us to suck, oh, forget about it. Because you know why they don't want us to get mad? Because they fear that one day we're going to rise up. Wake up. Wake up. Rise up. You know, it's about, yeah, con. It's about them uh, having a um, superiority complex, man. Right. They don't want to lose their power. They know we can, uh, we're a great nation, man. They don't want us to uh, overtake them, which y'all going to overtake them right. real soon, man. When the Lord when makes the Lord turn makes back here. Right, right, right. When the Lord comes back, the so-called black man, the one you need to call Jesus Christ, whose true name is Yahweh Shah, man. Right. Okay, he's gonna take these Edomites down, man. Okay, he's gonna get them out of power. We're gonna be the next rulers, man. Right. It's evident. Look at society's crumbling, man. Right. It's over for this place, man. Okay. America will never be great again. And if I can say, like the brothers just said, this place is crumbling, man. That's right. Everywhere you look around, you got trannies now. You got trannies, man. You can't even go to a good bar, you might be talking to a man, God. you know, and that's pushed here at a at a, um, a high level, man, which is wicked. Look what the Lord did to Sodom and Gomorrah. All these kingdoms of old, man, he destroyed it because wickedness was abounding, man. You had homosexuality, you had all this type of freakism, you got love.
laws push now where they say a man, if he if he feels if he a woman, he can go into the bathroom with your little daughter, man. And you gotta suffer that, man. What can you do about that? There was an instance where um they had a little girl get raped. Right. That's wickedness, man. That's wickedness, man. That's yeah. wickedness, man. We living in a society where <laughs> hey, That's you can't do nothing about it because it's protected on the law, man. Right. But America swearing on the Bible and right. God we trust, the but they don't they don't keep nothing according to the Bible, man. Not, not one law. Right. That's why the scriptures say the law is slack, man. Right. There's no law. That's why homosexuals are allowed to get married, you know, roam around. And there's a law against that. Man. Right. And the law, the penalty is death. Right. Okay, but does uh, America uphold that law? No. That's why all kind of wickedness is spreading, man. Right. There's no examples being made out here, man. Right. You used to get stoned in front of the uh, whole uh, congregation. The whole right. congregation, man. To be made an example and put fear in the people. That's supposed to happen right now, man. And they still do keep right. keep those different customs in, in different places of the Middle East, man. Showing you that is, <laughs> hey, it, it, it was righteous, man. Because they still keep it, man. Right. I got a little bit more. It says, this is um, back in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 8. It says, but because the Lord love you and because he would keep his ordinance, which he have shown unto your fathers, his ordinance, his ordinance. Right. have the Lord bought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondage, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Right. Read that for you. Oh, God. It says, but because the Lord loved you and because he would keep his ordinance right. with which he have sown onto your fathers. Right. He's talking about Israel because right. the Lord loved you. He loved us, man. You don't love these other nations. You don't care about these other nations. Can you get on um, uh, real quick? Hold that and get Isaiah on 40. Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. They're well, going to show you how you feel about these other nations. Man. Right. According to the Bible. It. it says, it says, have the Lord bought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondage from the hands of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Right. So, hey, this is modern day Egypt right here. He's about right. to redeem us again. Okay. He's about to redeem the Israelites again, man. Do who? Your house shot. Right. Jake's, man. Yep. And we got we got um everlasting life coming, man. Good times coming. You know, we ain't gonna be suffering no more. Right. We ain't gonna have to go to work and act like we're happy to be around a homosexual, man. Right. Every hey, the Lord is gonna put everything back in its rightful order, man. You know, your woman ain't gonna be able to um if she wanna have like three different dudes. You know, cheating on you and you marry, you can't do nothing about it. You know, hey, everything is about to go back, man. We, we, we're, hey, the Lord is, is, is tired of this wicked place and he about to destroy it, man. That's right. Like he did all the kingdoms of old that was not living right, man. Right. And this place is most definitely not living right, man. Hey, this is the most wicked kingdom ever. That's no. ever been on the face of the earth. That's why, what, 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 what happened to Solomon before? What happened to ancient um, Babylon, ancient Rome, uh, so on and so forth? God. Ancient Egypt. Who went into it? It was destroyed. They always okay. destroyed. All right. Primarily because, first and foremost, they had the nation of Israel in captivity. That's right. You know, which that's a no no in itself. I got a real quick answer. Yeah, you walking right. around on the bone of the blood of Native Americans, the Seminole Indians, the Seminole, and Mexicans. Mexicans, and yeah. Negroes that were bought over here. Right. So called Negroes that right. were bought over here in 1619. Right. You yeah, walking on their blood. They bones right now. Right. right. Instacart, uh, so called um, 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 Native American Indians, um, Mexican, so called, and um, Puerto Rican. Y'all got slaughtered here, man, when um, Christopher Columbus came here and called this the so called new land. That's right. But you was already people dwelling over here. How you gonna say that? The, 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 new, the <laughs> new land. Right. If it's already somebody <laughs> occupying this land, yeah. man, came people over that, here. Then there's people that were more advanced than you were. Right. You know, they yeah. for everything. Yeah. Right. They came over here on this land, um, saw the resources that was here, the different gold and rubies and how beautiful it was, man. They got greedy hard, man. They was, they, the so-called white man was scheming up a plan to, how can I get all these resources and different things from these people, man? 
you know they, they they keep it good man they just walk they just playing with gold like yeah like it's nothing Rubens, yeah. right, right. <laughs> this is yeah. precious stuff man he got the greedy hand man so he started plotting up a uh, 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 evil scheme to to take over man but she came up with these treaties and broke every last one of them you know a poison the native americans you know um um slaughtered them he, he got so blood hungry man he used to slice the women um stomachs open the baby fetuses fall to the ground and he stomp on the baby man play soccer with how wicked is that man play soccer with yep. but people yeah, and, and, and and then they and then they they gather around and call it thanksgiving man which is, is coming up man and people celebrate it like they, like they don't care man my, my grandma and my family been celebrating this but but you can go actually on the internet and look it up we in the we in the era of technology where everything is out you yeah. can go look up what happened man is yes, there because we're in the information age but people don't like to face reality they don't right. like facing reality at all and when they still look it up they still don't care no they don't, they don't. Care. That's why they're gonna get the um the judgments that's coming. I got a quick precept. This is Peter, Second Peter, chapter two, verse six, huh? and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemning them with an overthrow, right. making them an example. A what? An example. Read. Onto those that after shall live ungodly. Right. This is an ungodly um, nation. This is an ungodly place. Mm. Now, first and foremost, like we went into, they don't keep not one law. Right. All right. Of the law says command of the Bible. You know? So, hey, that's why America going to be the same fate, but worse, worse than Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Right. You're talking about 200, 200 million nuclear warheads that's prophesied, you know, in the book of Revelation. God. Which those nuclear missiles, these other countries don't got them for nothing, man. Right. They ain't just uh, uh, yeah. sitting there for, for people right. to look at. Put it in a museum. Put it in a museum. No, they're going to be used. Right. That's that lake of fire the scripture's talking about. So there ain't no um, underground realm where you go burn forever, man. Right. That's the lake of fire it's talking about. America's going to be that lake of fire, man. Right. It's going down, man. Right. That's, that's right. why, hey, that's why we, hey, we in fear, man. That's, that's right. right, man. We might look crazy to everybody, look foolish. So why them guys out there, nobody listening to them? They in the rain. They in the cold. They in the heat. Y'all need to just go, go in and, and go relax. Y'all are young men. And we got you know, right. We work not we work our nine to fives, we take care of our families, and we do this because we fear the Lord and we understand what's coming, man. People right. wasn't expecting the Rona to come and, and take by surprise and the whole America be shut down, man. That's that right. was the doings of the Lord, man. Right. And it's way worse of things that's coming for those that don't fear the Lord, man. That's right, man. Which we're hoping to be delivered out of this, man. Which right. deliverance is coming to the elect. The 144,000, the one third that consists of women, children, and multiple believers that come back to the Lord and do as commanded, man. Which Esau gonna come down on us. He gonna lock some of us up. He gonna put some of us to death. But we understand that the Lord is with us, man. The Lord right. gonna protect us from that death, whatever we have to face. Are he gonna deliver us out of it, man? That's right. Hey, remember, um, remember Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego, Daniel, right. hey, Job. Right. Hey, all these men of old, man. Right. We got hope, man. And that's going to carry us uh, uh, all the way, man. The Lord said all you got to do is have faith the size the grain right. of a mustard, mustard seed. seed. And you can command a mountain to move, and it's going to move, man. Right. So, hey, we doing what we commanded because we understand that the Most High, he's the creator, man. We, we Hey, he's the creator. We're the creations, man. That's right. He got the power to deliver us out of any and yeah. everything, man. And we believe that. To make a live appeal to Right. I got to, um, and Daniels, and then that brother, you, you called for him to get to yeah. the party. Um, 14, 15. We'll bring this out real quick. Um, Daniels chapter 12, verse 1. It says, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thine people. Right, huh. talking about Israel. Thine right. people. The Lord's people, which is Israel. All right, archangel is the chief um, angel. He's going to be sent down to protect the elect. Right. All right, time, and these turbulent times that's to come. Because all hell getting ready to break loose in America. Right. All yeah. hell is getting ready to break loose. The economy is about to collapse. You see inflation, going, prices going up, gas, food, everything going up. Man. That's going to bring about what? The crash of the dollar, man. Right. All right, so mandate. in these times, yep, these mandates. You, you, see a, you see a lot of, um, of these officers. Right. And, 
military personnel and all these different people that's that's quitting their jobs because they refuse to take the yeah. jab that they trying to be yeah. um what's trying to be pushed upon them, man. Right, which they ain't nothing but voice, man. Right. People dropping games. Right. You know, taking that stuff, man. When you got natural herbs to take. Right. And when you go to the hospital. But they don't push that. They tell you to take their medicine, their pharmaceutical um, supplies, man. All right? Which they ain't doing nothing but killing you at the end of the day. Especially right. you tribes, man. And we can't stress it enough. Like the brothers say all the time, uh, you created a, 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 a cure for the jab in seven months. But, but you still got AIDS out here. What, what a cure <laughs> yeah. if you And why you so... Quit. Why you why you so adamant and pushing it on lock? Alright? Why, why, why it's free? Well when, when, when AIDS was around, it's still know, around. It's still it's not pushed as hard. Right. It wasn't put it's still like man. you never push that as hard as you this this jab, man. Right. This vaccine. I'm just saying. And they said it usually takes up to seven years to um make a um a vaccine. And then they, they created one in um, seven months, man. Right. So, you know, they already had this cooking up, growing up, planet. you know, in the laboratory to, to, give, you, to give you um, jinx, <laughs> man. To, to further push through. their agenda and kill yeah. you off, man. Right, that's it. That's all it is, man. Just the agenda to kill you off your tribe. It's in the Georgia Godstones, man. Right. The, the um, kill off 66 point billion people on the face of the earth, man. And, and to remain in on how much? Five hundred million. Five hundred billion. Yes, five hundred million. Five hundred million. Yeah. yeah. They, hey, that's... they can control that many people. Right. If they chip them up, they can control that one world order. And that's right there in the Georgia gut. We and we take a trip up there, and it's right there. There you go. <laughs> right there in stone, man. Yeah. Now what, man? Right. This thing is about to go down, and it's about to it's about to unravel, you know, greatly, man. Why? Hit. Because. It's about to hit people hard, man. Right. And when the devil, when the devil show you who you, who he is, believe him. Right. Because we, right we have the tendency to not believe. When the devil tell you who he is, we have a tendency to turn a blind eye. We got to stop doing that. Yeah, because he's gonna rebuild his homes. Sure. That's right. He's gonna show him, man. He ain't gonna stop. You know, playing Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, gonna be He's just going to show you where he comes from. Man. They're going to be vicious. And a lot of you niggas, you need that, man, because you don't see who the enemy is. Right. You don't see it. Man. And that's why the scripture going to show you. And when that's, we say the that's word, that's why the scripture say two thirds of the nation of Israel are going to be destroyed, mean, man. Because right. two thirds, they just want to stay so in this society world. and just do what they want to do instead All of coming back yeah. to the Lord, man. That two thirds, just, that's why two thirds are going to be put to death, man. We ain't out here for the whole nation of Israel, man. That's right. We only out here for the elect. Right. The 144,000, the one third that consists of women, children, and multiple believers that's allotted to come back to the Lord and be delivered in this damn time, man. Right. For doing as commanded. Stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. And to do those things, you gotta have faith, man. Stop getting edge ups, man. Stop worshiping false gods and idols, man. Worship, that said the Lord, that said the Bible, man. To the best of your abilities. No. Hey, our people gonna see, man, when, when all hell start to break loose. That's man. the only way they're gonna get it. Right. Like, uh, there's a saying, um, the words don't teach adversity will. Right. You, 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 you niggas gonna piss holy hell out there. Right. Right. I'm gonna start back from the top. This is Daniel's chapter 12. And I'm gonna start at verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince will stand up. For the children of thine people uh -huh. and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation it says even to that same time and at that same time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book so it's going to be a time like no other man ever right. since there was a nation man. right that means it's going to be so okay it's going to exceed 70 a.d mm. uh, um, all the turbulent times of the past you know, all the um, you know, well, uh, there was a uh, uh, catastrophic events. All right, that what's coming to America is going to see all that. Solomon the Lord, the end days of Rome. You know, it's, it's going to be all that in one, man. Right. And then something. It's going to bring this out. It's going to be it's even fearful thing. Yeah, fearful time when they used to hold the Native American and Tao Indians <clears throat> and your people. They used to hold them. Down on like little, little right and let their feet burn until their feet grow. Until you conform to 
Roman Catholic, uh, the Roman Catholic situation. Yeah, yeah, dog. Yeah. So just roast your feet until you, you give in. If you didn't, if you didn't give in, you will burn to death. They torture y'all to death. Bro. Yeah, gotta break that out. Yeah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, starting at verse 15. Now, I want to prove this point that um, most of y'all don't care about these other nations. Right. All right, according to the like, People say y'all love, he loves everybody. But well, that's what the scriptures say. Right. Once again, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, starting at verse 15. Huh. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. Uh -huh. And are counted as the small dust of the balance. Well, okay, you put a speck of dust on the balance, the scale. That that scale gonna move? That's how they look at these other nations, man. Like, oh, okay, this is it. What a speck of dust man. on the little scale. You got it. Behold, he taketh up the owl as a very little thing. Uh -huh. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. Uh -huh. All nations before him uh -huh. are as nothing. All nations before him are as nothing. Read that part again. All nations before him are as nothing. So all nations before the Most High, outside the nation of Israel, he said are nothing. Outside mm -hmm. the, this sign right here. Right, so you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans need to get out of that slave mentality, man, that mindset that you beneath this man. Are beneath these other nations, man. You are gods and you are kings, man. Right. Stop calling yourself niggas, savages, looking at yourself as royals, man. Right. Okay? Look at yourself as royalty, the royalty you were made to be. But that's All right? He says these nations are nothing, man. And it's evident. They have no salt, they have no flavor. Right. That's why they get, use us in, um, like I said, the entertainment. Because we we able to, we got talent. We're able to perform well. They can't do nothing. They can't dance, they can't sing. They can't deal with a woman right, all right? Just being frank about it, man. Right. You know, they can't do nothing, man, outside of us. They don't have no song. They even, they even, yeah, they even use us to come against each other. Right, right. Because they can't do it themselves. Right. Yeah. That's why they put it on the TV and make make these thug movies and make, make Jake look like a savage. Yeah. Make him look like a just straight, just. That's why a lot of nations be afraid when they see some, um, some so-called Negroes on the on the corner and something, man. They ain't always they they ain't not, it ain't always bad, but they just you just got that image about you, man. That, that Esau puts out there, right? Yeah. You know, oh, you always up to no good, you know? right? Oh, right. That, that go for the that go for the whole nation, not just us. That go for everybody down here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All, all of them, all of them, not just yeah. the so-called yeah. Negroes. They got it. Yeah. It's all the, it's all it's the all us. Because yeah. we Israelite. Right. Right. We God chosen the people. The so called white man has never treated any of these people good. Right. Because yeah. the Mexican wetbacks, because the, um, you know, Judah, the niggas are bitch, call them niggas, love the um, dad and Ruben, the so called Native American, the so called Indians. You know? Which means savage. For the rest of the tribe. Yeah. Spits. For you, right. um, you know, you other Spanish speaking tribes. You know, that's how he look at you, man. Right. Nothing but a bunch of niggas. If you're not a Negro from the back. tribe of Judah, they look at you as a Spanish speaking nigga. That's all you look. Mm -hmm. Hey, we'll know we all the same, man. We're not different. The Mexicans, you know, they hate, they hate you from they hate the so called Puerto Rican. Judah hates, you know, uh, Benjamin. Levi hates Simeon. It's divide and conquer, man. Right. It's, all, it's always been divide and conquer with this devil. Right. Primarily amongst our army. That's right. All right, buddy. Um, this is um Second Ezra, chapter chapter six, verse fifty-four. It says, "And after those Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thine creatures, it says, of him come we all." Right. Of him come we all. Right? Sure. And everybody's from just the ground. Adam means. It says, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All right, and that's Israel. Oh. The people also whom thou hast chosen, chosen man. All right, so 
he chose a particular group of people, which is the right. nation of Israel. He didn't choose everybody. Okay, he didn't give everybody the law, statutes, commandments. Right. All right. These gotta, laws gotta, don't gotta, concern. Up too. All right. It, it, this book don't pertain uh, um, to everybody, man. The so-called white man, the Chinese, the Japanese, the East Indians, you know, the Arabs. It don't pertain to them. Most I don't give a damn about these nations. That's why we only get killed. Yep. Only get killed. Bring out that scripture that they are nothing and less than nothing. And that's why the world, all the other nations hate us so. Right, because they they're jealous. laughing, grin, skin in our face. Oh, oh, they hate us with a perpetual hate. It says, "All this, verse fifty-five. It says, All this have I spoke before thee, O Lord.' It says, Because thou madest all the world for our sakes.' Right, so the world's made for our sakes, but um, according to Job nine and twenty-four. Earth is given into this man's hands for a period of time. Right. All right. And his time's about up. All right. That's why he was a little This is on um, Job chapter 9, verse 24. Huh. It says, The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Right, the earth is given and given. Meaning, you know, they didn't um, get it on their own accord or their own will. It was given to them, man. Right. By who? The most high. Right. Read that, read from the top again. This is Job chapter 9, verse 24. Huh. It says, The earth is given into the hands of of the wicked. All right, so by process of elimination, who's the wicked, man? Right. Who is the wicked? What 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 is a wicked group of people, a wicked nation? All right. By their track record alone, man, by their history. All right. The so-called white man. Let's just be real, man. But his true name right. according to the, the Bible, Bible is Esau Edom. Right. You no, know, because the Lord, like like the brother explained earlier, and we're gonna we just gonna pound that in your head, man. The Lord don't deal with white, black. And these different play on words that Esau put on us right, to, to confuse us, man. The Lord deals with the nations. That's, that's how he created it, man. Nations. The nation of Edom, the nation of Ham, the nation of uh, Moab, the nation of uh, Elam, Ishmael, Jacob, Judah, Issachar, Ephraim, Zebulon. That's who the Lord, that's who the Lord deals with. So if you're not familiar with those, you're going to be lost reading the Bible, man. You're not going to know what it's talking about. See, we do the diligent research, man. We go into the meeting of words, man. We go back into the Hebrew, the Latin, and the Greek to see what they actually was talking about in those signs, man. Which the Old Testament is in the Hebrew, and the New Testament is in the, um, the, the Greek and the, yeah, the, the, um, yeah, the Latin and the Greek, man. So, hey, we're, we're, we're real um, studied up here, man. We know what we're talking about, you know? And, hey... You don't like it, man. Just go down the street, man. Right. And the scriptures say, let the wicked <laughs> and let the wicked be wicked still, man. Right. No. We're not forcing this down your throat. We don't right. put, put a gun in nobody's head and force them to get it, man. But right. we understand what the scriptures say. The scriptures say um his secrets are given to the service of the prophets. Right. It ain't for everybody in the first place. Yeah. Right, exactly. Either you're gonna get it or you ain't. Right, that's if you're his alike though. Right. Uh, we only out right. here for the elect. Like we always stress the elect, the elect, the elect. Right. A, a, a chosen within a chosen. Right. Because all our people ain't gonna make it, man. Right. That's right. Two thirds of the nation of Israel gonna be destroyed. Man. Because that's they right. is wicked Two -thirds itself. Of these people right. Are gonna die here in America. Right. right. They wanna fall out of the right. so They wanna be sodomites. They wanna game bang. They wanna kill each other. You know, and they they in too deep. But they can't come out, man. So the best remedy, the most I'm gonna have to destroy them and bring right. them back in the kingdom right. by the way of reincarnation. You're gonna come back as a baby, wipe clean of your slate, man. And then you're gonna learn the, the, the uh, ways of righteousness, man. You know, if you can't get it this go round, man. We hoping that we make it this go round, man. Right. We don't wanna we don't wanna face the the the, the ending nation of Yahweh by Shem El Shah, man. Cause it, it's terrible, man. He, we talking about the same power who flooded the whole earth, man. Yeah, which is gonna be by yeah. us. Right. The nation's gonna be by these okay. The same power who flooded the whole earth. 
kill everybody, man, except for eight people, Noah and his family, man. Because Noah got, got delivered because he did as commanded. It said the Lord made it rain for 40 days and 40 nights, man. Mm. Jake was out there being wicked, not knowing what rain is, like looking at Noah. Noah, you, you look crazy out there. Why you out there building the ark? Why you, it's hot, putting animals on it. You can imagine yeah. what type of um, things he was going through by his family, people that he knew, grew up with. Yeah. Suffer that for what? How, how long? 120, 120 years. 120 years. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. suffer that. Just like we got to suffer, man. That's right. right. No brothers been the truth. Hey, the apostles, man. Look at how long they've been. Huh? Decades, man. It's nothing new under the sun. What happened in the past, gonna happen in the future, man. And we just coming back in our life, doing what the Most High set us up to do, man. You know? Hey, hey, that's why we can't stress it enough. It's high time for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You, 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 um, you come on, you, um, Jakes that's been scattered amongst Israelite the heathens. Corners. Yeah, kind of Israelite corners. You know, hey, hey, it's high time to awake out of sleep, man. Because the Most High is about to make his move, man. That's right. I'm going to finish right. this off, and then I'm going to go back into that second Ezra. This is, uh, it's, this is, uh, Job chapter 9, verse 24. It says, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof, if not where, and who is he? So, hey, if the so-called white man is the wicked, not the wicked, who, who is Who is the wicked? Right. Who the only one that is with the Lord? say no other nation put uh, themselves up as the Lord, right. you know, as the Messiah. All right. I got the um, description. I got the description of how, how the Lord looks. This is um, this is Revelation chapter one. And I start at um, verse uh, thirteen. Yeah, so we're gonna prove according to the Bible, man, because hey. We ain't write this, man, but people get mad when the truth comes out. Right, and then they want to make an excuse when we read it, huh? Yeah, exactly. They want to uh, call out of it. Right? Nine don't matter. Right. They want to tell you to close the Bible, what you think. Right. That ain't what I think, man. That's what's written. Our, our color don't matter. Right. Well, it's, it matters for truth's sake because it's been put up that this man's the Lord, man. It matters right. now. You know, we got to bring out the truth, so now it matters. And when people pray to the Lord, they're thinking about that in their head. Right, so if color yeah. don't matter, why not accept him for who he is? I guess you look like. But we're going to move. Right. right. Move. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 13. Uh -huh. It says, And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, uh -huh. one like unto the Son of Man. One like unto the Son of Man. We all we all know who the Son of Man is. The one you need to call Jesus Christ, all right? You got it? It says, Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Like similar to what we got on, right? Here. It says a, a girt about the pets with a golden with a golden girdle. It's a war bill. Like a war bill. Right? It says his head and his his head and his hairs were white like wool. White in color, woolly in texture. Read that part again. His head uh -huh. and his hairs, yeah, his hairs were white like wool. All right, so white like wool. All right, who had, okay, the texture. You know, a little example yeah, of that, that brother, brother Beard. Huh? Yeah, who yeah. has woolly hair? Right. Okay, so-called huh. Negroes, uh, uh, Latinos, man. All right, so that's strike one against this image right here. You got it. It says, as white as snow. Uh-huh. It says, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Right, his eyes were a flame of fire, meaning he drank a lot of wine. That's really twofold because they go going to him being very pissed off. The 
especially when he comes back. That's right, too. This dude don't have no red eyes. You know? And we'll also, you know, characterized as being a wine bill because he drinks many wine. Yep. Because all the stress he was catching from his own people, man. That's right. That didn't believe that he was in the sight. And the first miracle he performed, right. he turned water into wine. He didn't say grape juice, he said wine. It says, verse 15, and this is the this is the banker right here. It says, nail in the coffin. <laughs> it says, and his feet like onto fine brass. All right, all right, what what color are the real is brass? That's right it's the river of a brown, right? Right, I got you right here. Yeah, let, let, let's show the camera real quick. Right, the color of brass. Now you got, you still got our people, especially you Latin tribes, that still believe the Lord looks like this. Y'all brothers see this? <laughs> it says, his feet like on to fine brass. Right. This this is the, the um image, this is the description um how the Bible was saying that the Lord looked, man. And I'm about to finish it off, man. Right, hey, this is really going to be the kick right here. Fin hey, what they say on Mortal Kombat? Finish him. him. Finish. All right, let me, let me finish him, man. It says, uh, Revelation chapter 1, verse 15, and his feet like unto fine brass uh -huh. as if they burnt in a furnace. This dude look dark. That's very dark. When you put anything, it comes out. What, how it's going to come out? What color is going to come out? It's going to come out very Black. dark. Black. If, you, if you burn this, if I burn this penny, this, this penny, it's, it's already brass. It's gonna be. It's gonna be really dark, man. Right. It's gonna be very dark. It ain't gonna come out like that, like image, man. So that's strike three. And so what? What they say in baseball? Three strikes you out, yeah. right? What they get? Strike three against the damn devil. Where they get that image from, man? And, and all these different right. um, 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 Bible movies. They got a, a so-called white man yeah. with long blonde everybody. hair. Yeah. And blue eyes with a British accent, man. Yeah. It didn't say that in, in the book of Revelation, which Revelation means to reveal, which we just uncovered the mystery, man. Yeah, he ain't talking like no punk either, yeah. man. Right. He had the signs of many. Oh, yeah, say, finish yeah, it off. Eventually, he gonna look more like Wesley Snipes more than he gonna look like Mel Gibson. Yeah, right. Exactly. It says, <laughs> and his voice as the sound of many waters. So you got, mm -hmm. his voice had to be exalted. He spoke, the, uh, that means he had a great voice, man. And it, 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 it spoke literally volumes, man. Mm -hmm. All right? You can hear him from a mile away. His voice That's was right. so, you know, amplified, man. Mm -hmm. All right? But see, in these movies, come on, you know, he's speaking like a punk. Right. Come give me a hug. Come give me a hug, man. That ain't, that ain't speaking the sound of many waters, man. <laughs> right. You know, it's austere. Man. Because right. I noticed, yeah. right? He was mean. serious, man. Yeah, he was austere. Mean. The scripture says he was an austere man. You ain't gonna be austere and have a soft talk yeah. like a punk, all right? Talk soft, you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. and all that bitch, man. No, you gonna speak with a? He spoke with authority, man. He be coming to sum it all up it's like a man. In man. the movies, he raving his hand back and forth. It's, it's but in this society, like a black man who speaks with authority. Oh, you gotta, you gotta lower your tone, bro. You right. know, lower your tone. That's intimidating. Play, 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 play right now today. Right. If you right. raise your voice, yeah. somehow or another. Right. You gotta lower your tone. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's intimidating for a black man to speak with authority. Right. Well, I talk like a punk, man. A man supposed to speak with authority, man. Right. And the Lord, he just he spoke that, man. Right. He spoke like that. Because the scripture say, like you say, he was an austere man. Okay. The Lord was austere. He, he wasn't no punk, man. He was rough. I'm talking to a guy. We just debunked that, man. Yeah, exactly. I go back into this um, Second Ezra chapter six, um, verse fifty-six. It says. It says for it says as for the other people which also come of Adam thou has said that they are nothing. There you go again. And the Lord is saying the other people they don't mean nothing to him, man. They was just created for our sakes, man. They was created to serve us, man. We was created to rule and the Lord created other people to serve us, man. That's why when you go into these um, Japanese restaurants and all these different restaurants, they put on a show for us, man. They nice at the hibachi grill, man. They crack, throw eggs up and, and, and let the, the egg land on the um, spatula. 
there, write your name out. <laughs> all that, man. They they was designed to do that, man. For a woman, they go to the to the um the, the, the um get their nails done. They groom them up. They groom them groom us up real nice, man. Because that's what these other nations was created to do, man. They was created to serve us. But since we disobeyed the Lord, right. He put us. He punishing us, man. We being punished right now, man. But you ain't gonna punish your kid forever, man. Just like you got a kid and he being bad at school, man. You're gonna you're gonna punish him. You're gonna punish him when he get home. You might have him grounded. And then eventually you're gonna start to ease up. Okay, son. Now you can go outside for a little bit, but stay in the backyard. You start giving them um, res um restrictions, man. But you easing up on them, man. You know? And then uh, okay, son, now you can go out but be in before the street lights come on. Yeah, now you can get your game back. All right, you got to get off the game at 7 o'clock. Right. But you got it back. All right, and then now, eventually, everything good. All right, you know, I, I'm doing this because I love you. You know, I had to punish you. Now you back good. Right, Now right, you do right. what I told you to do. Right. Right, and that's what the Lord is doing to us, man, as his people, man, his chosen people. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. The Lord love us, man. You think he's going to keep us in this predicament forever at the bottom of the bottom, at the lowest? Nope. And hoods, ghettos, everywhere you go in the world and out of the, out of the United States, it's a hood in the ghetto where you're going to find so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans at, man. That's dwelling at, man. And everywhere in the world, you can go find Esau, um, the so-called white man. They're going to be living, living in the rich of the rich, man. <laughs> and, and I know, man. I, I, I know. I deliver, too. Or they be living in nice homes. And, right. You know, I be going to outskirts and suburbs. So right. Or with the country down here. I be going to, when I be at work, man, I be going to these different golf course, golf yeah. um, clubs and stuff like that. Man, they living deliciously, man. Delicious, man. You think they're going to just benefit off the backs of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native, Native Americans forever? And the scriptures yeah, say, you're going to reap what you sown, man. That's right. So man. It, it's it's all good right now, you know, because we still serve the punishment. But that's why the Lord got us out here on, on the um, highways and byways to bring this message out, that's man. Because right. it's about to go down, man. Right. The Lord is about to have this place destroyed by the way of um, thermonuclear missiles, which Russia, China, North Korea, and in America, they, in World War Three, man. World War Three is at hand, man. And what you're speaking on about this being a That's Isaiah 29 to 16 says, that's upside down. I went into there last week. Spirit, bring it out of you. You got it. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, starting at verse 6. Folly is set in great dignity. Folly is set in great dignity. All right, America, the ways of America is folly, man. You got Christmas coming up. You got Thanksgiving. That's folly in the eyes of the world. Right. We got high holy days, man. Right. You know, here it is. You had Halloween. You had grown-ass people dress up as boots and boats. A grown man dressing up, man. Come on, man. The scriptures say as a child, I uh, learned, I was, uh, thought as a child, but, um, when I became a man, I put away childish things. That's right. And if I can say... Look at the demonic stuff that going on Halloween. This should tell you that it's demonic. They different every year. They one year they found blades in the candy. Like right. somebody was Needles. literally opening up the candy, Needles. putting blades in it, and yeah. then sealing it back up and serving it to the kids. That's right. They they found extra C extra C and different pills. Right. You know, as supposed to be sweeties and different yeah, candies. Yeah, come on, come on. And then you giving the kids extra C and they overdosing. And they drop dead. Right. Yeah. Different things, man. It's wicked, man. Yeah, you ain't doing nothing but sacrificing your children. Kids, a lot of kids don't come up missing. Come up missing. Yeah. Right. yeah. Come. That's come. a high um, sacrificial time for this devil on the left hand. Right. To get your children, man. And sacrifices do go on here in the world, yeah. man. That's right. It, it's, 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 it's the demonic place we live in, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, the, the scriptures tell us about these things. The eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all things, man. He see things that we don't see, man. He's angry, man. He 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 got a hey, the Lord said he's so angry, smoke come out of his nose, man. Seeing the things that he gotta see. Hey, that he see, man. He saw capturing up a little kid and, and raping it to death, man. Raping a little um three-year-old, 
four year old to death, man. How wicked is that, man? And people want to stay here, man. Right. This is a wicked, demonic, sinful kingdom, and the Lord will destroy it, man. That's right. He will, man, because he he don't change. The Lord say, I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed, man. He don't change, man. If it's wickedness going on, he going to destroy that kingdom, man. And this place, it's, it's, hey, the end is coming for it, man. Right. The end is coming, man. What is the Nobody ritual that, that scare a little kid that almost to the point of death? And then they drink their blood. Yeah, because the adrenaline rush. Yeah. They 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 they, they feed the, off that's that. That's one of the riches that they do too. Right. Okay. Right. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10, starting at verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses. Sorry, those servants upon horses represent the other nations, primarily Esau, so called white man, being in and being in power. Right. Horse represents power, man. They're supposed to be our servants. So that's an example, like I quoted on Isaiah 29 and 16, of things being turned upside down. You got it? And princes walking as servants upon the earth. And we those princes walking um, as servants. We serving our enemies in the land of our captivity, man. We serving the so-called white man in other nations right now. We're in the slums and the ghettos. We're in the local nations. You know? Because the curses, right. all right, of, of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Right. Okay, so that's an example again of things being turned upside down. We supposed to uh, be the uh, the ruling class, so to speak, man. We supposed to teach these other nations how to live. Like brothers on fire on the comment board. So what now? Your brothers on fire on the comment. Oh yeah, Shalom, uh, Shalom, okay. You know, but hey, we supposed to be that example, man. We supposed to teach these nations how to live, man. Right. You know, but hey, you got our people in a degenerate state, the two thirds. Right. Following uh, what, uh, what the other nations are doing, right. celebrating holidays, man. Right. Are eating abominable foods. Gator, gator. Yeah, gator. gator. You see that video gator. with um, Jake had a, um, a full gator cook. Yeah. I just, I, I th that us in the video. Was, where, no, I ain't yeah. seen it, but it was a, it was a whole somebody cooking a whole turtle, man. They took the, 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 the shell Let's off the back. That, man. Yeah, that's that wickedness, man. Yeah, and you wonder why, I, why you get. These um, uh, diseases and right, you know, man. The other nations can eat that all day long and, and live to be 120 years old, like the Chinese man. They can eat fucking squid and octopus and all that BS, man, and live to be 120. We eat that, we eat that shit, man. We'll watch what happens to Why would you any of us, man? Why would you? Well, we would probably want to make it past 50 years old, man. Why would you want to risk yourself <laughs> trying to eat a puffish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, you're going to that all the time. Right. They're and trying to yeah. cook the puffish. You fuck around, don't right. cook it right. Right. You, yeah, you the puffish right. is, right. is one of the poisonous um, yeah. um, creatures in the sea, man. Right. And, and yeah. if you don't cook it at a certain temperature, you Just can die, man. Sea snakes. Yeah, eels. They eat eels. Yeah. Oh, you see the, these um so-called Chinese and Japanese, they be eating all kind of abominable and, stuff, and man. Jake they see it. Jake see it and want to do, it, do man. it, man. Lobster, you're supposed to eat even lobster, right. shrimp. That's cockroaches of the sea, right. man. Right. You know, that's uh, similar to just taking a pick of the cockroach up and eating. It. That's right. When you eat a shrimp or a lobster, crab, yeah. pork, yeah. pig, you, you eating all yeah. kind of shit. Cause pigs eat anything, yeah. then they don't sweat. All right, they don't they, uh, they, um, toxins uh, stay in their body because the DNA don't swing. And you putting all that, consuming all that in your body, man. This creates what? Parasites, worms. Okay, and all that shit can eat your ass up, man. Right. Uh, you have a, you can get one in your brain and it eats your brain cells, man. Right. And I see. That's why you're supposed to be eating that stuff. It's a show called Monsters Inside of You, man. People right. around the world that done yep. ate something, ate some uncooked meat. Or ate something they had no business eating, and they had developed a, par a, parasite, a parasite was on it yeah, or something because yeah. right. it wasn't cooked all the way. Right. And uh, whatever. Now you got a, a tapeworm in you, the, the, the long as a, yeah. a, a damn car, <laughs> yeah. a oh, damn man. boat or something. Yeah. Florida, yeah. Yeah, they be big, man. Yeah, yeah. And they pull some pretty big yeah, tapeworms out of people, man. Yeah. You know, different and then things. You wonder why you hungry all the time. Right. Because they eat them. They, they the ones eating, not you. Right. They the ones them. enjoying the meal. <laughs> they the ones enjoying the meal, not you, man. Right. But you putting all that, consuming all that <laughs> filth in you, man. Hey, this old saying, you are what you eat, though, you right? You are what you eat. That's why the scriptures say, let the filthy be filthy uh, still, too, man. That's judgment. If they don't, if Jake don't want to uh, stop eating abominable foods, 
Let, hey, let them be, man. Right. But I quoted that scripture, let the filthy be filthy still. They don't want to get right. They don't want to uh, take heed and, you know, uh, mark it. Yeah, I got you real quick. Oh, this is Revelation chapter 22, Two. verse 11. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It says, he yep. that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He just goes into being righteous. You know, just goes into being righteous. All right. You got it. It says, he which is filthy. He that is filthy. An let, abomination, basically. Let him be filthy still. And the Lord said it, man. Let him be filthy still, man. So we, we ain't trying to make you get this word. All right. If you get offended, that's what it is. What it is. It's not meant for you. We just getting the blood off we our just hands. Get the blood man. off our hands. Come on, right. Come on. So you, so when all hell break loose, you can't say I didn't hear it. Because oh, a, a lot of a lot of people, that's how people be, man. A lot of people gonna be like that in that day. Yeah, they gonna be like, please, Lord, no, please. they see us out here every week, right? You know, even right. our, even our family members. Yeah, our, even our family members. Yeah. Right. People gonna be trying to find us, yeah. to ask us questions. Hey, but the Lord gonna have us hit it, man. Hey, the famine of the word coming, man. The That's Lord right. gonna have us off these highways and byways, right. man. When things get real bad, man. You right. think he's still gonna have his messengers out here, man? No. The truth hidden in plain sight, man. The truth is gonna be shut down. Right. Uh, when the Lord, when the Lord pulls the plug, we right. ain't able to come out here. No That's more. right. Mm. You know. It says, and he that is righteous, uh -huh. let him be righteous still. Yeah, Lord uh -huh. willing, we those men. We Lord willing, righteous. and we stay righteous, man. Right. To the best right. of our abilities, yep. man. We ain't perfect. You know, we can't keep all these laws, um, statutes, and commandments perfect. But we don't just blatantly eat pork. We don't just commit adultery. If a woman says she got a man, we're not just going to try and pursue her, man. Right, you have right. a nice day, man. Right. We actually live the scriptures to the best of our abilities. That's why we're able-bodied to come out here with a, with a right conscience to push this Bible, man. Because the Lord, is he's supping with us, man. You know? Because we actually live the scriptures to the best That's of our abilities right. and truth and sincerity, man. Because we believe. That's right. Which faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not believed, man. Yeah, not God. seen. God. You know? So, hey, when you when you believe in the Lord, man, he's going to change you, man. That's right. It says, and he that is holy, let him be holy still. So he that is holy, let him be holy still. Right. Okay, I'm Lord willing again, we those men that's holy and righteous. Right. And the Lord find us without spot and blemish like he did Yahweh shot. Right. And Lord willing, ultimately Yahweh shot covered our sins with his blood, man. Right. Because if not, we ain't gonna make it, man. Right. You know, the elect, we, we want to be part of that number at the end of the day. And that's why this brother is saying, Lord willing. Lord you willing. You know, that's yep. that's humble, man. Because humble. we don't know. We can't just say, oh yeah, we part of the elect. We're going to be delivered. We don't know that. that. The man. Lord can easily cast us out of this truth, exactly. go back into the world, doing drugs, game banging, committing adultery, doing whatever we was doing before the Lord allowed us to come in this truth, man. That's right. He can easily kick us out, man, and put that same wicked spirit back on us to go back into the world, man, which we hope he don't. Lord willing. That's why we say Lord willing, man, because we don't know, man. But by doing the things, showing your faith, it's most likely that you're part of the elect. That's why you just gotta keep hoping and praying. And, and yeah, come, believe it, come. That's right. I got a precept what you said. We don't, we're not making ourselves of the elect. Right. Because it's not about our um, will, man. That's right. right. Um, this is um, it's um, this is um, Second uh, Corinthians ten and twelve. For we dare not make ourselves of that number, or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. See yeah. that? We don't make ourselves of that number, man. Right. We ain't gonna. We ain't saying that we are the elect. Right. Hopefully, that's why we come out here and fight week in and week out. Right. You know, to fight for our salvation, man. With all fear and all trembling, no matter how crazy we look, like the brother said, you know, we fear the Lord. We don't care what these people think out here, man. Right. All right. You, you, you think you crazy and think all kind of ill about us? You want? Right. And at the end of the day, you gonna die, man. Right. All right. And everybody see us, family, friends, co-workers, right. boss. Yeah, I've been, everybody. You know, your girl might see you out here. Right. You know, yeah. but it's it's all good, man. If you want to leave, leave. Right. If you exactly. want to disown me, disown me. Right. Because I'm working for a greater thing, man. Right. Right. The That's most right. I made us a part of a thing way greater than anything we can even imagine. Man. Right. You know? And as long as we, if we keep our integrity, the, the, 
the, the type of reward that we're going to receive. There you go. There you go. Like no other. Keep right? our integrity. Right. Unlike Lot, right? Yeah. Ain't no looking back. That's why right. I should say, no uh, remember Lot's wife. Right. Don't look back at this place. No. Man. Right. Don't get discouraged to the point you care about what people think. Yes, right. right. Or what people yeah. say, man. To have you fall out the truth. Now you're going to be destroyed with them. Right. Because you care about what people think, man. Or what people say about you. And I'm right. just primarily talking about the younger brothers that come into faith. Right. You know, don't care about what these people think about. We doing the right thing. We know we doing the right thing. Right. right. Okay. Because if we weren't doing the right thing, we would know that people, you know, that I lost the train of thought. But anyways, I'm gonna finish reading this. It says, um, I'm gonna start from the top again. Second Corinthians 10 and 12. For we dare not make ourselves of that number, or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. But they measure themselves by themselves. You know, examine yourself, man. All right, whether you be in the faith, we gotta constantly examine, man. Right. Or comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. Right. So you can't compare yourself. Don't compare yourself to King David or, or Samson. Right. Or we know those are great men of the Bible, man. All right. We although we might be some of those men coming back in the reincarnation. Right. Which reincarnation is biblical. Before, right. You know. But hey, we can't. We gotta be humble, man. Right. That's why we gotta uh, come in with humility. Man. Right. Okay. And that's why we say, Lord will, Lord will. We hope yeah. that we part of the elect. We hope that we would be delivered, man. Which that comes with having faith. Which faith is the substance of things hoped for, the yeah, evidence of things not seen, man. man. We we don't know if we're gonna be delivered, man. But we hoping that's what pushes us to do what we doing right now. That's what makes us fight harder, man. Right. You know. I got a precept. This is on um, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. It says, Love not the world. Love not the world, read. Neither the things that are in the world. Neither the things that are in the world. Like Christmas, Thanksgiving, all right, Halloween, all these holidays are of the world, man. Right. All right. So the Lord so I said, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. No, no. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loveth the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So if you love this world, the love of, of Yahweh Shem El Shah, all right, the, the creator is not in you. Because he, hey, he finds enmity or hatred in this world. That's what the scriptures say. Okay? All right, enmity with this world, hatred. He hates this world, man. So we got to hate it. Hey, the scriptures say love the evil and, um, I mean, love the good, it's a lot of Satan. Love the good and hate the evil. And they also told us to come out of this world. Right. Yep. Become a new creature. Come out of this world. Yep. Yeah, kind of. It says, for all that is in the world. For all that is in the world. The lust of the flesh. The lust of the flesh. People would like to um, fulfill the lust of their flesh all the time. Got to eat every 30 minutes. Here it is, they come from a buffet. You know, eat about 10 plates. And about 10, 15 minutes later, they got a damn ham sandwich in the guy. Damn oh, yeah. a bag of chips. A bag of chips. Right. God damn, man, you just ate. Right. A lot of people, you people got straight gluttonous out here, man. Right. They don't know how to uh, discipline themselves, man. You know? The Lord requires you to fast, too, man, at times, man. Fast, abstain, man. Right. From all uh, pleasures, man. You know, grow more in the spirit, man. Feed your spirit more than your flesh all the time. That's right. Man. You got it. It says, it says, and the lust of the eyes. And the and lust the of the eyes, like, a, like looking at another man's woman. Mm -hmm. All right, you know that woman got a man, but she's constantly trying to uh, lust at her. That's right. Which that's a the Lord said that's adultery. This by um, thinking of meditating on. Hey, that's why this place is wicked, man. Right. Another thing, because you have these women out of here, they have right. a man at home, and they at the convenience store, Walmart, with booty shorts, yeah. and, and, and that's the wicked tightest, in itself. the tightest of the tights with their, with their, um, you know, they, they box showing, you know, all this, man. And, and we, we, you might be, you gonna be looking at her. You a man, right? Exactly. So, and then, and then you ask her, she got a man. She got a man. He like, damn. I'm looking at this woman the whole time. That's she right. got a man. That's right. And the most that's wicked of all is the man let her right. left home. Don't feel bad about it, but you got these niggas in the world. They don't yeah. give a damn. Yeah, you got, right. got the man that let, let her left home. They gonna pursue. Put that on, you right. know? Yeah. Right. Because he don't have no integrity. He don't have no integrity. 
He he don't wear the pants in relationship. No, he wonder why he she mess around on. Yeah, he wasn't scared. Yeah, exactly. That's a, hey, just keeping it real, man. You got it. It says, and the pride of life, the pride of life, read. is not of the Father, uh -huh. but is of the world. It's of okay. the world. The most I hates pride, man. He hates. That's one of the uh, what it said, Proverbs six, seven thing he hates. The top things he hates, pride. Uh -huh. Out brought that in the lesson. The lesson. Yeah, Proverbs uh, 16, 18. Right, you can read it. Proverbs 16, 18. 18. 18. Verse 17, it says, and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. Read that part again. It says, "And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof." Well, this world's gonna pass away, and all you wicked people, you gonna pass away with it, because you're in the lust of your flesh. Israelites gonna keep indulging in sin, keep in adultery. All right, fornicator, a, a, a sodomite. Idolater. Idolater, yep. But a uh, drug dealer, a thug, you're going to pass away, man. You're going to be destroyed, man. Right. All right? Plain and simple. You got it out. It says, but he that doeth the will of God uh -huh. abideth forever. So that's going to be the elect, man. The elect is uh, promised eternal life. Right. Okay. And we hoping that we're we part of it. Right. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, starting at verse 18. Pride goes before destruction. Pride goes before destruction. But well, that ain't the one I want, but niggas. You said 16. 16. Yeah, pride goes before destruction. Man. I'm still reading yeah, this. Still read that. <laughs> but this is how you feel about pride, man. You got it. Hey, look at look at Esau, man. Prime example, the so-called white man. Putting this image up, that image up of um of um. Right. This is a this is a proud thing, man. How you gonna make the Lord's how you gonna make the Lord look like you, Esau? All for that Edomite Just just so you can get the whole world to right. fear yep. and to do what you want them to do, man. Right. That's hey, that's that's gonna hey that's hey. And Moses said you can't repent from blasphemy of, of the Holy Spirit. That's man. why he ain't gonna be saved. That's why no Edomite is gonna be saved. Right. Period. Know each other repentance. Hey, we we went down as a nation. The whole nation of Israel got punished right. for a couple of for a couple of jakes, man. Even the righteous. Even the we righteous. all got Even punished, man. Go so how much more for you Edomites, man? man? Right. The, a, a nation has perfect right. ending nation for forever. Right. How right. much more you? You don't think you gonna go down? Right. You don't think you gotta be punished? Come on, man. You got it. Right. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, starting again at verse 18. Right. Pride goes before destruction. Right, that's why the so-called white man is going to be destroyed. He's going to be brought down because he's a proud man. That right. tells you that in Habakkuk, the second chapter. You got it. And the in the spirit. The audacity to swear in on the Bible. Yeah. And, 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 yep. When you go to church, right. I mean, when you go to the courthouse, they make you put your hand on the Bible and swear in on the Bible, man. And, then and they, they don't Bible. keep nothing. Then in the Bible. the Bible in the back. Right. Right. Pull out they pull yes. out the uh you know, when, when, when a Bible when when a um, new president is elected, they say that the Bible is the rock of the land and God we trust and and, and look what's going on in the world right. the different laws and legislations that you pass to protect homosexuals. Yeah, exactly. And, and different things that you do, man. They almost um passing a law to um make pe um pedophiles be protected, man. Yeah. That's the wickedness that go on here in this society, man. Huh? That's right. This stuff, this stuff got to be talked about, man. That's why the whole side is risking us up to, to, to bring it up. You know, because, hey, people ain't going to just bring it out, man. These churches and, and kingdom halls and, and mosques, they ain't just going to bring it up like that because they under what you call the 501. C3 charter, which right. is the tax exempt. They can't bring it out. Right. Which in that tax exempt, 
they got to they gotta speak of what they tell you you can speak of. Right. Are you going to be in violation? And then, hey, it's going to be it's going to be trouble. Right. right. You're going to lose that status. Right. They got they got to marry two women or they got to marry two men. Yep. Right. They, gotta, they can't go against it. They can't go they against it. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, starting again at verse 18. Pride goes before destruction, and in haughty spirit before it falls. That's why the so called white man is going to fall. He's haughty. That's proud, right. Which pride and haughty is synonymous words. That's right. Okay, so he's going to fall because of his pride. You know, we might say extremely pride. Oh, we never lost the war. Okay, well, what happened with Vietnam? What happened when I, this is parallel to what we're talking about right now. This past, so called past war with our uh, um, Afghanistan. 20 years and nothing accomplished. That's right. Man, you lost that war. You know, and you surely gonna lose World War III. Because right? you got Russia to worry about. You got America got Russia to worry about. China to worry about. North Korea, all right, which they hate America. Right. All these countries hate America. Um, Iran, you got, um, who else? Um, you got said Iran. Iran definitely hate America. Right. They're screaming death to America every day and burning American flags. That's right. All right, and that's exactly what's gonna happen to America. And it's, it's because, be burned. look, it's because if Esau parade around with the military, they go into these other people's shit, man, and try to right. take, take what they got. And tell man. them what to do. Right. That's just like me walking in this brother's house and tell him how to dictate everything in his house. Just go up his room, this, his door, knock on the door. He let me in and be like, hey, brother, hey, I think you need to do this, start doing that and that and that. You're going to be like, what the hell? Who the hell are you? You know? Come on, man. That's just like, that's just exactly what America's doing when they go to these other countries, right? And try to tell them what to do. That's why these countries are going to blow America off the map, man. They hate America, man. Right. All right? But yet, let them try to do that to America and see what happens. Right. And then, America ain't oh, All right. You went and dropped the bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Right. Not only, you, you kill innocent men, women, and children right. with the bomb. Right. Do you think they don't forgot about that? The Japanese right. ain't forgot about that. Right. The ja they ain't forget that. But here it is. Our people, our stupid people, they'll forget about yeah. slavery. They want you to forget about slavery. And all the but atrocities that yeah. happened to us. The Japanese ain't forgot about right. Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That's still fresh on their mind as if it happened yesterday. They call it Hiroshima, but Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yeah. They ain't forgot about that. You kill innocent women and children that didn't have nothing to do with the war. You didn't you didn't drop the bombs on military installation. You dropped it on civilians. That's how they do, man. With these different drones and different stuff, they're just it, 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 for one one person. They trying to get one person in there. They gonna drop bombs, yeah. blow everybody, man. And then they got the nerve enough to call it collateral damage. <laughs> man, the nerve of this devil, man. Then um, Pastor the Rome Law do a blessing. I, I, I got I got a piece of it. This is on Come. Deuteronomy 32 and 7. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will shew thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. So we got to remember the days of old, man. That's right. The Lord yeah. said it himself. Remember the days of old. So we're going to remember Come. what you devils did in slavery, man. Yeah. Two, Our mi people, man. Two million died on the way over here. 200 million died Jesus. on the way over here. They, they didn't even survive the trip over here. Right. Then you got over here and you kissed over 77 million Native of Native Americans American and Latinos, Mexican Americans or whatever. Yeah. Right. And then yeah, like he don't got to be punished for yeah. it, man. You look at himself as being not guilty. Did somebody get that in Zechariah? Uh, 11 and 5? Zechariah 11 and 5. Right. You look at he hold himself not guilty, man. All right? Man, you speak on it, we the bad guy now. This is the book right. of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 5. Right. Who possessed to slay them and hold themselves not guilty? Who are our possessors? So called white man chief. Read that from the top again. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 11, starting at verse 5. Who possessed to slay them Slated. and hold themselves not guilty? So he done slay them, done slay us, man. They done hung us, lynched us, did all manner of things. Still killing us, still shooting you, chased down like a dog in the street, man. That's modern day lynch, you know, uh, uh, these racist, you know, uh, uh, officers shoot you jakes down and they get off on camera. That's modern day lynch, man. Right. You know, and they, they hold themselves not guilty by themselves getting off. 
No, they got to do is go to another city. Right. Yeah, leave. Qualify to another city or state and then get it. They get another job. They get hired back home. You know? Got it out. And they didn't say that they don't say. Blessed be the most high your house, uh -huh. for I am rich. Right, they, that's what they said. You know, live by the, but you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Right. right. You know? But, but some of you niggas do deserve to be put out of your misery. Yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, you wicked, know, because wicked. you're wicked. Yeah, wicked as hell, yeah. you doing that's stuff. That's judgment. That's judgment. Right, right, right. And you, you know, they, as you just say, agree with thine adversary quickly. So if, 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 if you are being pursued by the police, Hey, if, if you know you got a gun and shit, you already know, man. You know you need to do what the fuck they say. Just do what they you say. Know? Don't, don't get loud right. mouth with the police. Right. That just makes it worse. Right. Makes them want to drag you out. And then, hey, come on, man. Be, See, use okay. wisdom. So, so sometimes, you know, and, and the cop got to do what he got to do. Yeah, exactly. You know, because you yeah. Jakes, you right. Jakes need that, it's man. Too right. They, they feel, they feel for their lives too. Some of them feel yeah, for their lives. Some of them be, some of them be, you know, he saw, he saw the damn devil. We know that. Yeah. So yeah. some of them do be a, de a devil, man. Yeah. You know, and, and just they just want to um, peel Jake Cat back. Yeah. But, but a lot of you Jake, y'all be, y'all be asking for um, he saw to pull your cat back, man. I know my rights. You have no rights. Just do what he say, man. You'll come out much, much yeah. more. A lot of. I be seeing some videos where he, he gets stopped for a, a, a light out or something and, and the nigga just run because the nigga doing selling drugs, man, don't got a warrant, don't got a warrant, you got a warrant, yeah. Why don't you just get out and start busting, man? You know, so hey, it ain't good for you two thirds, man. That is good for them, man. They need to be, like you said, they need to be out here. Right. That, that, that's doing you a favor, really. Right. You know? This is the book of... Zechariah chapter 11, starting again at verse 5. Whose possessor slay them and hold himself not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed. This is the book of Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Whose possessor slay them and hold himself not guilty. And that's Esau, man. Right. Plain as day. You hold them say, but yet they tell us to forget. But they remember 9-11. They remember the Holocaust. Right. But we got to forget what happened to us, man. Slavery. And they haven't been paid back yet. Yeah. Right. Which is slavery, man. Yeah. We got to forget about those things. Remember the Alamo. Right. Remember the Alamo. But they can remember all the, the so-called atrocities that happened to them. You know? You got it. And then they have a nerve to have Columbus Day. Thanksgiving. Okay. Right. I it, I it, I it. And they that say the faith, blessed be the Lord, the Howard, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them right, not. Because you got sellouts. Sellouts to pacify you so called Negroes, primarily uh, Latinos and Native Americans. It's safe for them, man. It's all called so called well, leaders. Yeah. All right, you got, they, they have the, they give you the false illusion that you have justice yeah. in this society, which you don't, man. You know, which true justice is gonna come from the Lord, man. Right. Real justice is coming from your house shot. All right, the one you in to call Jesus Christ. That's when we gonna get our justice. Not no forty oh, acres in the field. Right, there ain't no justice. And all that that reparations. The they gonna give you that. No. Man. Now you got Jake still talking about reparations, man. Yeah, I want blood. The, 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 the true reparations gonna come when the Lord come back and destroy this place, yeah, and put this devil out of his memory. I want rulership. I That's right. That's right. That's the true reparation. True reparation. Uh, and eternal life. Like I yeah. said, rulership, complete sovereignty over our enemies, man. Yeah. Starting with these Edomites. Okay? That's the reparations we want. The rule, hey, the, the rule over our enemies, have slaves, man. That's right. You know, uh, rule and righteousness, man. I got a holy demon on him. I'm saved. Yeah, you gonna get All right. Go in front of the car. See, I see. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's nah, all right. Come on, you straight, man. man. You need to ask us if you have any. Oh, you can? You butt in here. He said he's coming back. He just got to check on you. You can ask questions. Oh, okay. This, this is Revelation chapter 18, verse 5. It says, For her sins have reached unto heaven. That's all about America, slot. Talking about America, which is Babylon the Great. Because this is an extremely wicked place, man. That's right. All right, this place is wicked as hell, man. So that's how her sins have reached the heavens, man. It's constant wickedness that goes on here, man. Like, hey, we go in all the time, homosexuality, man. All right? It's going on as we speak behind closed doors. That's man. right. That's right. But the angels see that, man. That's why the scriptures say his eyes are 10,000 10, times brighter than the sun. His eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. And his eyes are in every place when you read Proverbs 15 and 3, beholding good and evil. That's right. You got it. It says, and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. Well, my, uh, Yahweh have remembered, all right, America's iniquities. So the most high forget about all the crimes the so-called white man has done. Like first and foremost, this is not his land. All right, this land belongs to the so-called Native Americans, Seminole Indians, man. It doesn't belong to uh, 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 these red people, man. You know, which you're red, you're not white. All right, it doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the so-called Natives, the Seminole Indians, the Mexicans. So this is stolen property. Read. It says reward her uh -huh. even as she rewarded you. So reward her, which is America, all right, with slavery. That cup is going to be passed, man. All right? So right. the hey, scriptures bro. are like uh, the invitation to four chapter. All right? That cup is going to be passed. That cup, like I said, is slavery. Onto you Edomites and you other nations. Y'all are not exempt. You um, um, Chinese, Japanese, so on and so forth. You're going to get it too, man. You got it. It says, reward her even uh -huh. as she rewarded you. Right, with what? Slavery. We're going to reward you. Read. It says, and double unto double. her double uh -huh. according to her works. Uh -huh. And the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. So double. We're going to reward you double. You devils double. Double, man. You other nations double for what you did to us, man. That's right. You brought us over on cargo slave ships. All right, then you had us establish America, this cesspool, okay? And you benefiting off of it, the, um, the blood, sweat, and tears, the backs of us, man, okay? And you act like you ain't gonna pay for that, but you are gonna pay for it, man. That's right, all right? One of the uh, worst things you could have done, you so-called white people, was to put the nation of Israel in slavery. Put man. your hands on God, your hands. Right, touching the apple of the Lord's eye. That, that, that's one of the worst things you can ever do. And you're going to pay for that, man. All right? There's re it's called recompense, which recompense means payback, man. You're going to get paid back for everything you've done. You devil's going to get paid back everything you've done to the nation of Israel, man. Yes. But double. But it's going to be what? Done in righteousness. You got it? It says, Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that lead him into captivity. He that lead him into captivity. Shall go into captivity. That's plain, uh, man. You don't even need to break that down. He that lead him into captivity shall go into captivity. That's right. All right where that sleeping, Yes, sir. All right. You going in captivity. The same thing is going to happen to the so called white man. He that lead him into captivity shall go into captivity. That's right. plain and simple, man. You don't got to break that down, man. You got it. It says, He that shall lead him into captivity uh -huh. shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword. He that killeth with the sword. You killed us with the sword. All right. I don't know why I put it down. You killed us with the sword, man. Read. Must be killed with the sword. You live by huh. the sword. You die by the sword. That's so right. the same thing you devils done to us is going to happen to you, man. Times two. Because the script he just read, you should be rewarded double. You're going to get double that cup. You're going to get, we had a drink a gallon of our slavery. You're going to get two gallons. Okay, so he that killeth uh, with the sword shall be killed with the sword, man. You're going to be killed with the sword, man. Plain and simple. You're going to pay for what you've done, man. The devil's going to pay, man. You got to preach your life. It says, here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Saying, that's our patience. Uh, bring out your peace. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 6, starting at verse 7. I was going to get there in the group. <laughs> be not deceived. 
Yahweh is not mocked. Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. You think you're mocking the Most High? You devils think you're mocking the Most High by um putting the nation of Israel in slavery, oppressing the nation of Israel, okay? Having them uh, worship false gods, saying you God, okay? All right, you the Most High, read. For whatsoever a man soweth, all right, that shall he also reap. But you done sold this, man. You done reap this. You're going to reap this. You done sold God. slavery. And guess what? You're going to reap it, man. All right? Oh, sorry. The water. Huh? You go, You sold this and you're going to reap it, man. That's Plain right. Plain and simple. You're not going to get away, man. Plain and simple, man. And we're going to keep shoving it down your throat, all right, till we off these streets. So the Lord puts the spirit on the so-called white man to bring the family to the word. Okay, which that's coming very soon. We ain't gonna be out here very long, man. We're not gonna be out on these streets warning you uh, hard-headed, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans very long, man. God. Okay, hey, they want us off these streets so bad, they gonna get their wish, but guess what? They gonna regret it. All right, you gonna, hey, you gonna regret having us off these streets warning you. Because in that day, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you gonna be looking for us like the brothers getting into early, man. The same man you scoff and you mock, all right, pursuing the um, second Peter 3 and 3, it should be scoffers in the last days. So the same, those very same men you scoff and mock, you're going to be looking for, man. God. Okay? And a lot of you, you're going to die, man, for mocking the prophets, man. You just had um, the brothers, um, a brother um, from the Pittsburgh camp did a video. That's right. All right, about the, um, the black, uh, you know, the Black Lives Matter, one of them dykes. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah. She got killed, like but they they said she used to scoff them, brother. That's right. That's yeah. why she got put to death, man. See, the most I ain't playing, man. And I, I go into all the time. He don't play about his prophets, man. Yeah. He don't play about his men, man. That's right. Okay. So you scoffing and mocking the Lord. If you don't repent, guess what? The Lord's gonna pull your number, man. Yeah. And we're not right. seeing this scenario play over and over again. Over and over. With the mockers and scoffers. That's right. That's right. Lizard. Oh yeah, because that whole Black Lives Matter that was funded by first and foremost George Soros and it started uh those uh dyke two dykes right. help um you know get that shit started man which that's BS you know and it don't mean our people no good man right because your life would never matter it hey I, even all our people's lives don't matter to the most time man only the elect lives matter man that's right the elect lives matter Okay, not even all our people lives That's matter, right. man. Not only black lives, two thirds of every life lives don't matter. Yeah, they don't, man. They don't matter, man. Only the elect, you know. Which, you know, that might seem harsh. For a lot of you other Israelite groups right. out there, but that's that's the reality of the stick. We are not dealing with everybody, man. We're not even dealing with all Israel, all right? You got it. This is the Book of Micah, chapter two, starting at verse one. Uh huh. Woe to them that devise iniquity uh -huh. and work evil upon their bed. That's so-called white man. He devises iniquity constantly upon their bed. These elites, they, as we speak now, they behind closed doors conjuring up mischief. What they gonna do next? How we can get these Israelites more of them to take the jab or, uh, you know, other um, uh, mischief, man. Other um, wicked thoughts, wicked devices they got conjuring up. Man. That's right. video. My brother had posted with on uh, Sesame Street. They had them up there pushing the jab. Yeah, man. Some some coon had the elbow. Oh yeah, yeah. Pushing the jab. Oh, yeah. They use you jack elbow and all that. They had they had on um, uh, ad on. I seen YouTube yesterday. But they had a Jake. Uh, I think it's I don't know if it's a commercial, or a YouTube commercial. Talking about if you don't um, get the jab, you gonna you can use it your um rod. See, they go to the extent where you, Jason, try to take this shit, man. Why? Because you the target. You the primary target of the so-called white man's agenda, man. And they want you to take that poison so that they can try to wipe you out, man. It's all right. about that birthright, man. All right? You got it, up. Huh? When the morning is light, they practice it. Right, so when the morning is light, they practice it, man. So guess what they did this morning? They had an extra hour to practice their wickedness. 
the time, the time went by. Trying to, hey, the audience, all that, they like saving time and all that BS, man. You know, all you think that's going to prolong your um, rulership. You know, you're only all speeding friends, it up, man. Time, you're man. only speeding it up. That they like saving time don't mean nothing. They ain't going to do nothing to, uh, and your key is still going down. Because it is in the power of their hands. Right, because the most high, again, the most high gives you the power. You didn't get your power through your own power. You've been bringing us over your own slips. That wasn't by your own will, by your own strength. That's that was right. by, hey, Yahweh, that's from the power of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Right. He delivered us into you. Right, he delivered us into your hands. That's right. Okay? So don't think you do anything by your own strength. We don't even do things on our own accord and strength, man. Everything is controlled by the Heavenly Father, man. Whether you accept it, believe it or not, man. Okay? From when you wake up in the morning, you take a shower, that's controlled by the Lord. Because why? Everything's predestined. Right. It's predestined for us to be out here, man. Right. The Lord uh, um, permitted us to be out here today, man. You know? But if not, it would have been went um, other way, uh, otherwise, man. You know, if it wasn't his will. That's why, I like, hey, mentioned we say Lord will. The brother mentioned we always say Lord willing. It's the Lord will, it's the Lord will man. All right, there's nothing's on our own accord, right. man. We don't, we don't dictate, uh, control nothing. Right. A man right. ways is of the Most High. Right. It says a man. How can a uh, um, uh, man's goings? On way of the Lord, how can a man understand his way? On way. This is the book of Michael, chapter 2, starting at verse 2. And they covet fields and take them by violence. Right, so that's so far white man. They covet fields and take them by violence. America, can't stress it enough, was gotten by violence, man. Rape, robbery, and murder of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's how America's got it. They didn't come over here and ask for America. Can we please have America? You know? Please, um, black man, can we have America? Please, Latino or uh, Native American, can we have America? No, man. They got it through force. Violent force at that, man. You know? You got it. And houses. Yep. And take them away. And take them away, man. Okay? Hey, the, everything they got is through rape, robbery, and murder, man. They never work for it. We do deliveries, we go in these Edomite neighborhoods and we be seeing how, uh, the kind of houses they be living in. You know, they be having lakes and ponds by their house, golf courts, and all that kind of yeah. stuff, man. They living good, man. Yeah. These big three-story, two, two three-story, maybe four-story houses. Yeah, man. still living out slaying money. Yeah, they, they benefiting off all this stuff. All right, and they walk around like nothing, they, like they ain't do a goddamn thing, man. Like they innocent, okay? Is it more than that, brother? Even a man and his heritage. Even a man, hey, took our heritage, man. All right? This devil took our heritage and claimed himself to be a Jew. All right? Who's professing themselves to be Jews today? The so-called white men over there in Israel, which they're not the real Jews, man. Right. The real Jews are you so-called Negroes, man. They even from the said, tribe of exactly. Judah. They even Negroes. said, was saying, how did it, um, Jews leave blacks and come back white. Right, right. exactly. By, um, I, think, I keep forgetting his name, but that's mentioned in the book of Old Adah, it's prophecy. Right. We're the real Jews, but we can't leave out to uh, the Israelites and to uh, the northern tribe too. Right. The northern tribe. So called, y'all went through the same thing. Y'all went through the same. The same so called Negroes went through the same type of lynchings. You got home, the like fetuses, got uh, cut out and stomped on. Everything they did, the so called Negro happened to you two. You two. You so called Latinos, then you Native Americans. So that, that rules with the same. Man. They know who the nation is. Right? That's why we all you got the uh, Native Americans and reservations. You got the uh, Latinos, Mexicans, in the slums and ghettos with so-called Negroes, man. Okay? So that lets you know that's a, uh, that was all set up and all by design, man. By the so-called white man. Alright? You got it? Yeah, that's my problem. This Lamentation, chapter 4, verse 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. So you better rejoice and be glad because the time is running out, man. Time is running out for you Edomites. 
That's why the Lord put that there. Had, uh, had uh, Jeremiah. Yup, Jeremiah put that there, man. You got it. It says that dwelleth in a land of us. Which us today is America, man. All right. You got it. It says the cup also shall pass through unto thee. And I mentioned that cup early, which is slavery. The cup, that cup is going to be passed unto Edomites. All right, all the rape, robbery, and murder. Which rape, we want the word of rape, it just means to see. That's all it is. How many page, YouTube pages I had right. without just getting terminated and spinning? Right. You know, countless pages. You try to um, walk this truth, you try to eliminate this truth because you, you know it's the truth. Right. You know you're going now. It's power behind this word, man. You got it. It says, The punishments of thy iniquities is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Right, we almost, um, our captivity, our punishment is almost about up. And you devils, you know you're going down, man. You know you're going down. That's why you're speeding up your, your new world order, man. You're um, making rational decisions and all that because you know you got a short time, like it says in Revelation 12. You got it? It says, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. So this is it, man. You better enjoy it because this is our last captivity. Right. After this, we're not going to any other captivity, all right, ever, man. Uh, all the nations, the scriptures tell you that in the park, but all the nations had us in captivity, right. you know. But this is our last one. We're going we gonna to rule forever, man. Right. All right, so you nations, you get ready, man, for slavery, man. Starting with the so-called white man. You got it. It says, he will visit thy iniquities, O daughter of Edom. Right, he gonna visit your iniquities, man. He gonna visit all the uh, atrocities and sins you have committed primarily against this uh, people. Right. Against the nation of Israel. You gotta, you gotta get paid back for everything you've done, man. Right. All right, and then some, and the reason why I say and then some, because the scriptures say you forward the affliction. Right. You did, you went overboard in our oppression, man. Right. And um, oppressing us, slaying us, man. Having us over in captivity. You went overboard, man. Right. You killed, you fed our babies to alligators, man. Right. What kind of sick, twisted mind would do that? Man? Hey, I, I just recently went to a, a woman's house and she had um what she had um she had a chair made out of um out of out of uh, uh, I think it was alligator skin. Because right. they used to catch the alligators, you know, by using our, our babies our and stuff yeah. like that and you know, bait it up. Like like it was some bait, man. Right. <laughs> hey, the alligator go to go to town on that kid, man. And then they got some. Um, you still have some people today that got um, um, chairs and different things made out of Jake skin, man. Thank you. Out of so-called Negroes Negro, yeah. uh, skin, man. That's right. They make chairs and different um, um, leather couches and leather things out of our skin, man. These are all the atrocities that Esau have done onto us, man. And you actually think you're not gonna have to pay for that? You think the Lord just forgot all about that? You think the Lord just swept all of that under the rug and, and you just gonna live how you living for the rest of your life? No, man. It don't work like that. The Lord don't work like that. The Lord say he's perfectly balanced, man. He's a, a, a just, he's a just weight, a perfect balance, man. So you think he's just going to let bad, 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 bad happen to his people and, and, and that's it? No, man. It don't work like that. He's about to bring the balance, man. He's going to put us back on top, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and we're going to rule the earth in righteousness, man. There ain't going to be no homosexuals walking around here. You don't got to worry about, um, you don't got to worry about, um, you, you, you going to, um, letting your kids go to school and they being taught by a tranny, man. Right. Are they being raped? They they, they get they get raped or, or molested, man. Right. You we ain't gonna have to worry about things like that, man. You know, just the different things that go on here in this society. 
you, your kids might go to school and they might not never come back. It might yep. be the last time you don't see your kid, man. You never know, man, how wicked society has got, man. Right. How all these child sacrifices, uh, child missing cases are ramping up. And all the atrocities are always have been about the Israelite uh, males. Right. Go all the way back to ancient times. It was always about the, the males that they was always trying to get rid of. Those were the ones that they fed the alligators. The little male babies. Because the males are the dumb. Yeah, they use them for alligators. Don't worry about the woman. You know, you worry about the males. Because the males are dumb. They the more of the three. Yeah. They're the only one that can uh, replenish them. Yeah. And that's what they were concerned about. Yeah, the man carries the seed too. That's power in that. Um, that's you know, right. we, we able to, um, one man can pop and repopulate the whole entire earth. That's right. right. You know, hey, the Israelite man, That's right. right this is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. It says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. The Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. And those that were chosen to choose Israel. That's possessive, man. Yep. That's a possessive word, man. Hey, the Lord is possessive about his people, man. And, and throughout the whole scriptures, he's talking about Israel, man. My people, my people this, my people that. He ain't talking about all the other nations or everybody. He's specifically talking about a, a certain group of people, man. It's right there in front of our face, man. It says, it says, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Wow. Huh? It says, and the strangers shall be joined with them. That's right, talking about the uh, Israelite torment. The ones that's going to come back in the fold. But you got Israelites that look like so-called white people. Look like the other nations, but they line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. You know, so that makes them Israel. And a uh, perfect example we always used to, we always like to use um, Blake Griffin, man. If you see uh, Blake Griffin's son, he look like a, a so-called white man. A, a so-called white little boy, Blake Griffin. He a basketball player. His dad is a so-called black man, and his mom is a so-called white woman, man. But his son, because Blake Griffin had sex with the, uh, a so-called white woman and married her, when, when she had a baby, the baby came out having blonde hair and blue eyes. But the man carries the seed, man. So that baby is therefore a so-called black baby, man. Yeah. You know? Hey, so, hey, but the baby looked like he is so-called white, white but man. But he's an Israelite. Yeah. Right. They don't color it. It's significant. It goes back. His color is insignificant. That's right. That's right. It show you. you know? It show you that that the Lord ain't dealing with color, man. We've been scattered amongst all, all the nations, nations, man. Right. Bruce Lee's an Israelite. He look like the Moabite. He right. look like the so-called Chinese. Chinese. He one of us, man. His line go back to a Manasseh, uh, the tribe of Manasseh, I believe. Right. I'm mistaken. That which is the so-called uh, Cubans. You know. So he's an Israelite. He's an Israelite. It says, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Right, so it's a big coming back in the fold, man. Right. Those Israelite foreigners, man, that, that wild olive branch, man. That being um, brought back, you know? You got it. It says, verse 2, and the people shall take them and bring them to the place. Right. It says, and the house of Israel shall possess them. And the land of the Lord. Right. So what did that mean? They um, were getting possessed as the slaves, man. We're going to possess these other nations because they possessed us. Right. So right. I'm going to possess them, man. Hey, hey the, the scripture says you're going to reap what you sow, man. Right. We ain't saying that. We're going to do We ain't gonna do nothing, man. Right. We're going to wait upon the Lord when he get here. The scripture say, wait ye upon me until the day that I rise up to the prayer. Right. right. But you got, um campsite there like one body in your house shot saying we don't gotta wait on the Lord man. Yeah see that's off. That's yeah. off man. See if you do that you being a uh, you being a demon man. right 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 and hey, the Lord you hey when the Lord told Peter when 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 Peter tried to say he gonna protect he gonna he gonna protect he the Lord to man. Yeah. Right. Now now nah, when the Lord uh, told him um told Peter to get behind him man right. he said get behind me Satan Right. You no, know, he called him Satan, man, because yeah. you was trying to go against the will of the Lord, man. You know, ever at that moment. Yeah. Right. Hey, hey, what, what, hey, we got to go what the Lord say, tell us to do, man. 
Yeah. Lord say, wait ye upon me, man. We we ain't got spiritual powers yet. We ain't in the kingdom yet. The, the scripture said, this is my kingdom. We'll That's fight, right. man. Yep. Yep. That's right. You know, but but in the meantime, we in we in Babylon, which Babylon means confusing. Our our captivity, America, and we just gotta do. We just gotta maneuver in this world, man. We got the truth. So you live your life according to the to the Bible to the best of your abilities, man. Huh. And we know you know what you can keep and what you can't keep. Right. The, the Bible says a homosexual is supposed to be put to death. You know if you go put a, a homosexual to death, you gonna you gonna you gonna be put to death by the by the government, man. Right. They gonna, gonna put you under the jail, system. man. Right. We can't do that in this society. That right. was wisdom. The scriptures say, "Be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove." <laughs> okay. You know you can't do that. Right. You you angry? The scriptures say, "Be angry and sin not." Right. Mm -hmm. But you know you can keep yourself from eating pork. Right. Shrimp, crab, lobster, the committing adultery, yeah. yeah. Worship an idol gods, man. It's plain and simple. You got the truth, you 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 use it, man. There's not a law that says you gotta be a Christian, you gotta be a Muslim. Right. You know, we they don't got laws. So you can you able to keep keep the laws of the most high, man, to the best of your ability. Right. Like the brother's going into, man. You know, certain laws, the most the most high made it that way. There's certain things you can keep, man. Right. Which uh it's a lot of it. You can actually keep. To the best of your ability, man. right? And you know? the time is coming, man. When the Lord, when He makes His return back here, He's gonna make everything in His and, and, and right, man. Right. We can't do nothing right now, but just do what He's saying, do, man. Which is come out here, preach this word, and then fight, fight this good fight to be righteous, man. Right. To the best of our abilities, you know. Right. To to the best of our abilities in this in this wicked society, man. See, and the Lord loves showing examples, man. See, and, and, and the Lord is the Lord is terrible, man. That's why this place got to go, man. This place just gotta go, bro. Got you. And we just gotta wait upon the Lord no and, 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 and hope and pray that the Most High just take this place out, which He is, man. Cause no. He say He is. Right. He's a God that He shall not lie. He shall not lie. Right. See how the Lord made that manifest back in the man, so It says. It says verse um. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 2 it says and the people shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them right. and the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids what's that mean slaves right. servants servants handmaids really? it says and they shall take them captives who captors hey, they were so who is it who's captors tying so our enemies gonna be captives to us. It's only right, man. The Lord said, man, an eye for an eye, a two for a two. You reap what you sow. Recompense, man. You know, I will um, get on 2 Thessalonians. I don't want to put you real quick. 2 Thessalonians um, 1 and 6. You know, he said he's gonna pay recompense, man, which means to pay back. But, but you go to, to a, a Christian church, they yeah, be like that, um, uh, two wrongs don't, don't make, make a right. right. Where's that in the scriptures, though? Right. I have yet to find that in the scriptures. Man. <laughs> you know? You got it. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 1, starting at verse 6. Right. Sin, it is a righteous thing. Uh, no, a, a wicked thing. A righteous thing. No, a, a, bomb, a detestable thing. Read. Sin, it is a righteous thing. Seeing that it's a righteous thing. Read. With your Uh-huh. To recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So it's righteous thing, the recompense, meaning payback, the trouble, tribulation, which means troubles, to those that brought us troubles, brought us heartache, pain, oppression. He said that's what, it's in the New Testament, man. Yeah, right. For you Christians out there, and uh, the New Testament, the Old Testament got away yet. God, he, he don't kill no more, you know. He 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 ain't as all uh, mean. We all, we all love. No, it says this. He's reading the brother's reading out of the New Testament. It's a righteous thing to recompense the tribulation of those that troubled us, man. The white man, he's definitely troubled us, man. All right, he continues to trouble us to this very day, man. So it's going to be a righteous thing to trouble him, all right, in the kingdom of heaven, in righteousness, man. Because right. he's going to be troubled, man. We ain't going to be doing no. what he did to, to us, man. Right, as far we as. We ain't going to butt break nobody. No, we ain't going to do that, though. We ain't gonna go, we ain't gonna take his woman and rape her while, while the man and the kids is right there. And he still lead the man alive, you know? 
to watch that, man. Right, to watch it. These yep. are the atrocities that Israel went through, man. Right. He, he saw the so-called white man can just go in the house. You know, you've been picking cotton all day. You tired as hell. He, and, and if he wanted your woman, he could just go in there and rape her right there in front of you and your kids. Right. And dare you to say something. Your right. daughter, too. Or dare yeah. you to look at him, man. Yeah. He'll put you to death. He'll That's put right. you to death, probably. The woman and the kids, That's man. That's right. If he felt like it, man. Yeah. And you and, and, and you devils think you don't have to pay for that, man? Be, be, be real with yourself, man. I, I know a lot of Edomites. A lot of Edomites got that thought in their head, man. Because they be making, um, they be doing stand-up comedy about it. Yeah. There's this one, yep. one um, yep. Edomite that do stand-up comedy about it. I can't think of his name. And a lot of them do it, man. I sure hate the rewind to the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's they know. Things, man. Yeah, God. They know, man. They know, man. They know it's coming, they man. They know, man. Right. They know they got to pay. That's so they, they have a somewhat of a um, guilty conscience. Right. Man, that's why they don't want us to bring out things like slavery. You know? Because that says shame. You got it? It says, they were and they shall rule over their oppressors. They should rule over their oppressors. We're going to rule over our oppressors, man. Start away Esau, man. Right. It's only right, man. It's only right, man. The only way things are going to um, be made right according to you is when you go into slavery and you, hey, after a thousand years, you exterminated. Like right. the scriptures say, man. All right, that's the only way things are going to be made right, man. Right. When you did your time, okay? That's it. The Lord, that's it. Talking Bible. about letting bygones be bygones. When bygones going to be bygones and when your ass going to slavery. Right. Okay. And even if, even if we forgive and forgive, the most high ain't gonna forgive and forgive. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, make up it. So, and, and, hey, and, damn, and, and a lot of our people yeah. do forgive and forget. Yeah. They don't want to think about it, but yeah. it's, it's, it's here, man. Yeah. Right. They make movies about it. Django. You know. They throw in our face. Right. Constantly. Yeah. Throw slavery movies in our face, but tell us to forget about slavery. Right. <laughs> but you throw it in our face, reminding us, but come on, man. Right. That's my I'm That's gonna finish, mocking, I'm gonna finish this off. It says verse three. It says, and it shall come to pass right. and that in the day uh -huh. that the Lord shall give thee rest from thine sorrows. Right, we're gonna have rest, but that rest gonna come in the kingdom. Right. We're gonna finally be able to wake up and, and feel good, man. Right. And praise the Lord and not have to work a nine to five, right. not have to work for this so-called white man. Right, because you got you, know? e you got Edomites that don't work a day in their life. Yeah, exactly. Living like, deliciously, like man. Like the elites. Right. The elites. But yeah, the elites. I want to experience that not having to work, man. Right. I would love not having to work. I, we don't supposed to work anyway, man. We're royals, man. That's right. We're supposed to work a day in our life, but because we disobeyed, man. Right. We're in this predicament. You know, punishment. We're supposed to have slaves and servants uh, working for us, man. Right. All right. That's how the most High set it up originally. Right. And it's going back to it's that. It's going man. back to that very soon too, man. Right. You know, that's why these elite they scared, man. They scared of this word again now, man. Yeah. These so-called white people, they can't handle this truth, man. Right. You know, that's why we gotta move, but I thought it was a free country. I thought we had freedom of speech. You know? That shows the hypocrisy of this place, man. Right. You got this, this this system is going down, man. It's going to a um a um a, a drunk code, yeah, 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 yeah laws, laws yeah. meaning strict laws yeah. and strict legislation, right? The Constitution gonna be stole out the window, right? Yeah. Which is all, it's all boiling down to the chip, or if I be microchip, which is the mark of the beast, right. which they're about to try to implant yeah. in your right hand or your forehead, huh? Joy, no? Bush, Joy Bush told you, say, look, it ain't nothing but a piece of paper in the first place. Yeah. How many, how many trees? Did they keep with the Native Americans? This is what they're trying to implement. Right. This is what they're coming so, with. What they the think? What, uh, and do the act of this. Martial, martial law. law. Which they're going to they gonna get rid of the regular cops. Because the regular cops ain't going to want to shoot their people, man. Right. They're going to have to bring in the blue hammer. So the blue hey, They're going to have to bring in people that don't give a, excuse my language, they don't give a fuck. Man. Right. Are right, that hate America already? That hate you, yeah. America. They're gonna bring in the mercenaries, right? Yeah. And, and they ain't gonna have yeah. no no second thoughts about it. That's and who they, they gonna bring right. in. And they be showing them blue helmets, man. Them UN troops, man. Right. I was just watching a, a protest. What was they protesting at? And um, I can't think what it. I, I can't think of. We were watching so much, but they was just protesting, walking down the street, 
Man, they just start just whooping their ass with just beating them with the stick. Australia. Kicking them. Yeah, I think yeah. it was. They got that mandate, them yeah. jab, the jab mandates. Yeah. And they was just protesting, man, just walking with the sign. And they going to do it to their own people, too. Right. You are you cause you call collateral damage, man. Right. Uh, you know, all this to get to us, man. Right. They'll mess up with their own people, man. You know, just that's how deep that hatred runs through these so-called white people for the nation of Israel. That's how that much they hate us, man. They're willing to mess up with their own people. Man. Let me finish this. You got it. It says, um, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 3, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrows. And from thine fear and from the hard bondage mm. wherein thou was made to serve. Right, so we served hardcore slavery over here, AKA Babylon. Over 400 years. And guess what? It's going to be your turn. You so called white people, Chinese, Japanese, it's going to be your turn to serve hardcore bondage, man. We had a servant and we the apple of the Lord's eye. So how much more you, man? No, no, you other nations. Start with so called white. It says that thou shalt take up this proverb right. against the king of Babylon right. and say, How have the oppressors ceased? Right. The golden city ceased. Uh -huh. It says, The Lord have broken the staff right. of the wicked. Right, so the staff of the wicked, which is Esau, is going to be broken. Okay, it's about to be snapped in half, man. All right, because the Lord is getting ready to crack them clouds with the chariots, which you call UFOs, so-called UFOs, but they're the chariots of the Lord. Right. They're going to beam his, up his elect, and they're going to leave the rest of these wicked people down here in America to burn and die. Hey, which the Lord has a lot of those, those um, so-called UFOs that you people call them, which they are the chariots of Yasha Allah, right. and the Lord has allowed Esau to reveal them, man. You know, was, they couldn't hold it. They couldn't hold it too much, uh, much longer, they man. They couldn't hold it because it's too much evidence. Right. Everybody has smartphones. Right. You can't hide. You can't hide this no more. Just say, oh, it's a weather balloon. Right. Ah, oh, it's a weather balloon. No, just, just, just forget about it. You know, no, man. People have smartphones and they record these things every day, man. Skeptical, skeptical. It says, and this, the skeptor uh -huh. of the rulers. Yep, your, your rulership is about to be brought down. You about to be brought to a low piece of trash you was created to be, Saul, man. All right? You you about to be brought very low, man. Back to the, your base and state. Right. You know, it's brother, and I can't get a lesson on that, man. Base called base man. Right. You know? You gonna be brought uh, back to that, uh, which, like I said, man, your, your lower state. All right? Like you had possible hard, um, Put out that video, the Whitakers to show Esau and his his bark. They, they, they do it, the bark like that. That's how you gonna be, man. Cause hey, it's scripture saying, Joe, that's how you basically talk. You brave. You sounded like a what, a mule. You know, that's why they they, they be making mockery of their own selves by making these caveman movies and stuff. Right. How they used to live in, you know. So how they take a woman, they'll beat across the head and drag her. Okay, that's how they'll get a woman and shit. Right, you know? No way. Well, hey, you're going back to that state. You're going back to that condition. And you ain't gonna have um, houses like we able to, see that's the mercy of Yahweh by Shmuel Shah. We able to still live in houses, apartments, you know? You ain't gonna have even that, man. A uh, hut. You ain't gonna have a hut, a tent. You're gonna be in a pit, man. I try my best to try to my Okay? You gonna be in a pit. You gonna be low, man. Right. You gonna be uh, what you was made to be, man. Right. A low piece of S H I T, man. Right. This is the book of Psalms. Two hours in. Yeah, about about two hours. This is this is the book of Psalms, chapter one thirty seven, starting at verse seven. Remember, O Yahweh. The children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Right, so remember the children of Edom, man, the so-called white people. All right, King David said that, man, the King David was a man out of the most high heart. So of course he's going to answer that prayer, man. Because Edom, hey, you're the worst, you are arch enemy, man. all right? You are a mortal enemy, man. You're the worst, you're the worst to have, man. Or these I think, other I think, I think, I think 
Okay, you are the cost enemy. You and the Lord says, I don't remember you. O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed? Are to be destroyed in America. Now, you can eat my soul train as a That's part of everything. Right. See, King David saw a vision, man. Oh, you eat my soul train as a man. Okay? Happy shall he be that the water deep as thou hast served us. Right, happy shall he be. Alright, read. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stone. So he said, we're going to be happy, man. The, Lord, the most high going to put an ill spirit on us, man. A cold spirit. Because no. take our baby, your babies just like you did our babies and dash them against the stone, man. That's what the Come. Bible said, That's man. That's right. He said we're going to be happy about it, man. We're going to rejoice about it, man. All right? See, that's the nastiness. Like, you had an apostle, the brother, um, re upload the video the other day called the, nat the apostles on um, doing a sit down. Get yeah, the nastiness of the scriptures, man. That's part of the nastiness of the scriptures. God. Okay? But we, hey, the Lord said we're going to dash their um, hands against the stone. Little Edomite babies, man. That's right. All right? And the reason we're going to be able to do that because you did it to our. Yeah. The trail of tears. On top of feeding our babies the alligator. The trail of tears. Andrew Jackson, that's what he did. When he hear a little baby cry to keep them from crying, he would take them by their heel and. Well, history won't teach yeah. you that, but yeah. we know. And, hey, it's all it's all being brought out through the spirit of calling y'all. That's right. Shot, come, come. Well, you devils are being revealed, man. You can't stand it. That's why I'm trying to get us off, off the YouTube, off these streets. Which, the most I'm going to put the spirit on you to uh, pass legislation. You won't be able to teach them again. But, hey, that's all. You only fulfilling prophecy in that. The famine of the word. Famine of the word, man. Hey, we can end it off on that. Hey, man, brothers. I want to say, brothers, stay strong. I want to get that speech. That's my love. Okay. Get it off on that speech. I'm, I'm going to get it. And then we're going to close out. Well, you're going to, hey, this, this is coming to pass, man. This is Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord Power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, even though that's a culminated, now it's going to be an actual famine of bread, all right? Food and water, right? It says, but of hearing the words of Yahweh by smell and shot. So it's going to be a famine here in this word. That's why we can't stress this enough. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, man. Call upon him while he's near, man. Because time is running out, man. Time is running out for repentance. For you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans to repent and come back to your power, man. Okay? America's about to be destroyed, man. Okay? There's no more hope for this place. This place is uh, done. It's out of here, man. Okay? It says, um, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. So it's going to be too late. It's going to basically be too late when a uh, so-called white man gets the okay to turn off the internet, man. All right, to get us off these streets because we ain't going to be out here for him. The time for us being out here is it's coming to a close, man. It's coming to a close very soon. All right, so that's all I Brothers, man, hey, we are literally coming into some serious times, but we're going to have to call hardly believe on your how about some you outside. Know, Most sides about to strip the, the comforts away from us, you know, and, 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 and if you ain't grounded and rooted in this thing and believing on your how about some you know, outside in order, hey, that's going to be your demise, man. So, brothers, just stay strong and keep fighting. And keep believing and calling on your how about Shim Al Shah, man. My little slogan, like I, I like to say, have no fear. Your how about Shim Al Shah is here, man. Right. He here for us, man, because we doing as commanded. That's and right. if we do as commanded, he got to do what he say, man. That's right. If, if, if the Lord say he going to do something, he going to do it. But we got to do what he say do right. so we can have that that comfort, man, that, That's right. that, 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 that help. Right. You know, because it's about to get ugly out here, man. The, the next wave is coming, you oh, know, yeah. and, and it's already winter again. Right. So you know Esau gonna use this this um pandemic to his advantage. 
Right. To so continue to try to usher in that market. Right. All right. We got what is that market? So, so, hey, we're going to get off. Hey, Lord willing, this um, Cam Lesson is edifying to the hopeful elect, sincere brothers and a few of you sisters. We're going to sign off but again by saying all praises and glorifications goes to Yahweh, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Well, peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of the earth preaching his word and truth and it's sincere. You say shalom, 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 shalom,